have a video for you today featuring uh, the Becky Fleck sketch challenge over at a cherry on top. There's one of these every week and I usually try to play along with it once a month. I'm going to be using my Crepe Paper Magical Forest collection. I pre-ordered this collection from a cherry on top back in January and it took quite a while to get here to me so I'm super excited to kind of dig into it and use some of these products up. So I'm going to go ahead and look through the papers and kind of decide which ones I want to use for this layout. Um, so I only have one sheet of each of the 12 by 12 papers and then I have the 6 by 8 paper pad and um, some of the embellishments, not all of them. I've talked about this before about how um, if I really, really love a collection, um, I've kind of I kind of try to pick and choose what I get from it. Um, so knowing that I only have one of each of these 12 by 12 papers and that I'm not going to be able to, you know, grab a couple extra sheets if I want, I am going to kind of piece together my background onto a sheet of white cardstock. I'm going to be using some six by eight paper pads to util to um, make some of these patterns go a little bit further. And I'm also going to be mindful of the B sides as I cut these down. So I don't want to, um, I want to make sure that I'm not, what's the word? For example, one of those papers was a cut apart sheet and I knew that there were a couple of the cut aparts that I did definitely want to make sure I used. I, I reserved for another page I have planned. So I made sure that when I cut this heart paper that I wasn't cutting and using any of the cut apart sheets that I wanted to use. So this is just a piece of white cardstock from my stash, super easy to use. Um, I will probably be doing things like this quite often in my videos right now and I can say with a great deal of certainty that I will not be always be using white cardstock. So I covered up a piece of white cardstock here. In hindsight, I should have pulled some of my thin um, colored cardstocks that I know I'm not going to like to use as backgrounds and go with that. But that's hindsight. And as I'm doing this process video, I have already done most of my videos for this week. And um, yeah, you'll see tomorrow's video, you'll see why I say I should have used some of my colored <laughs> cardstock stash. Uh, so I decided I want to die cut. These are some beautiful intricate metal dies that are from Tim Holtz. They create these beautiful lacy edges and I really, really like them. So I'm going to go ahead and use this kind of corally colored paper and I'm going to die cut all of these cute little lacy edges and stretch that six by eight sheet of paper so that I can create these border pieces down both sides of my layout. So I really, really do like these border dies. They're really versatile and um, they're kind of one of those things that uh, just add that beautiful touch to a page. So I really, really like them. I'm going to use my Nuvo adhesive and I'm just going to add the adhesive just to the very edge, just a nice little line to the very edge. And that way they can kind of have some dimension. They can kind of stick up a little bit. They're not completely stuck down through every little thing. And because these dies are so intricate, that would look crazy anyway. Just saying. <laughs> and I can match these right up. The dies match up really, really nice, which works perfectly for something like this. And they are six inch long, so you just have to cut two. And it also worked out fabulously to use them with that six by eight paper pad because they fit, the dies fit right across. And uh, yeah, it worked really well. I was super happy with how these came out. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere these down and then I'm going to work on kind of the middle part of the sketch where the photos, where the two photos are. So when you play along with the sketch, you uh, load your layout into the gallery at a cherry on top and also if you're looking for some fun project inspiration, I would check out that gallery. We have so many amazing girls that 
post beautiful, beautiful layouts in the Cherry on Top Gallery. And they, um, they're super sweet. Everyone over there, it's such a fun community. They're super sweet. They give you, you know, lots of really great feedback. And it's just a nice place to hang out. So if you're someone who maybe watches process videos, but does isn't really into um, maybe Instagram or Facebook, I know a lot of people aren't really super into Facebook. Uh, that gallery, the project gallery at a cherry on top can give you lots and lots of great page inspiration. And um, you can earn points for playing along with uh, the sketch challenge. You can earn points for playing along um, for commenting and posting your projects. And, and after you get so many cherry points, then you can get free product, which is really, really nice. So these are my photos. This is a puppy page. So this is my mini dachshund. He is my constant companion. And um, I have these two photos of him chilling on my lap because that's what he does. He quite often ends up laying on me. Well, you know what? If I'm sitting, he's on top of me. Like right now, always. Um, he's kind of my little shadow. Not kind of, he is my little shadow. So I pulled that blue paper and I cut it into a banner shape. And I'm thinking about sequins, um, but... I decide against them. Um, the Foxy Roxy sequins at Spiegel Mom Scraps would work perfectly with this collection. Um, I just decided that I wanted to use a little bit more clusters and I wanted to pull in more of the pink. Some more of that, like the pinky colors and pinky tones that are in this collection because the pinks are just gorgeous. These are my kind of pinks. They're like a warmer pink. They're they're really nice. They're not super -y pastel -y. They're They more tend towards the coral end of the spectrum, the orangey end of the spectrum, so, and I love them. So I'm just going to go through the die cuts. I'm going to pull a couple die cuts out to use. I'm going to use some tags. Really love that tag that has the pattern, but I'm not real keen on what it says. It doesn't really go with my layout, so I'm going to kind of layer up some of those die cuts, and I'm going to go ahead and use this fox one just for cuteness sake, just because it's adorable. So I stuck to the sketch kind of. I really got to the certain point, like I do with most sketches, I get to the point where I kind of have the base of the sketch and then I kind of go off on my own little own little place. So I think the titles moved and um, some of the embellishment clusters are kind of different and things like that. So the next thing I did was grab my stickers and I'm going to go ahead and layer up some of these pieces. I also add one of the added one of the fabric bows to the layout. I love the fabric bows in this line. They're so cute. They're like, I just, I love them. They're adorable. I really, really love every part of this collection. So I'm super duper happy that clear back in January <laughs> before <laughs> life threw us all these curveballs, I pre-ordered um, just about every part of it. Um, and so I have lots of those fun goodies to play with. And um, so uh, I'm giving few, I'm giving past me a super duper high five for um, going ahead and pre-ordering all these fun Magical Forest products because <laughs> now I have them. So I'm just getting all of my clusters adhered down now. I'm going to put some of them on some foam adhesive just to pop them up a little bit here and there. I also made sure to add in like some puffy thickers and some of the, the puffy hearts to give something else that's not just paper on paper. I added a bit of extra adhesive to my bow just to make sure it was good and stuck. Uh, I do really, really like my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. So um, I wanted to give that bow just a little bit of extra extra adhesive there. So I'm going to use the thickers. I'm going to have my title be my lap dog because he most definitely is my lap dog. And so I'm going to go ahead and use those. And then I think I just had a couple little extra hearts. So I have kind of like a heart thing going on there. Um, and I wanted to add a few hearts to my clusters and I also have because I have the hearts by the one photo and then also that black and white pattern paper that I used has hearts on it as well. I'm going to tuck this little flower underneath just for 
um, a little bit of color to pull in some more of that dark, beautiful green. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I think, I think I'm just adding the last little bits, just a couple of little hearts just to kind of um, fill out those my three little clusters a bit and to get get them just the way I want them. And that's going to complete this layout so pretty easy today. Um, I have for you tomorrow um, a layout and then I also have a video for you Friday and Sunday. Um, if you are following along on my spending quarantine, you want to come on Friday because Friday I'm going to show you some techniques for washi tape and 6x6 paper pads. Alright, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!